Take your Bibles and open to the book of Acts of Apostles. Acts of Apostles chapter 13. And I'm going to read from verse 6. Acts chapter 13. From verse 6. And today's message is titled, Thou Child of the Devil. Thou Child of the Devil. Acts 13 from verse 6. If you are there, say yes. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bar Jesus. But Elimah the sorcerer, for so his name by interpretation withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who is also called Paul, Filled with what? With the Holy Ghost. Set his eyes on him. And said, O oh, fool of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? So, and now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind. Not seen the sun for a season. Thank God he said for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Here we come across opposition to the purpose of God. This man is a strange man. Number one, he is a sorcerer. Number two, he is a false prophet. How can a sorcerer be a prophet? Very strange. Then, to confuse people further, this man that we read here, his name was Bar Jesus. Ba means son of then Jesus. So Ba Jesus means son of Jesus or son of Joshua. Then it was a Jew. Jews don't become sorcerers. The Jews are known to be very godly people. What kind of man is this one? A sorcerer, a false prophet called by Jesus, a Jew. If I said now, but Elimas, the sorcerer, because that is, that is his proper name. Elimas is an Hebrew word meaning corrupter. A, a corrupter. This was the kind of human being, not spirit, that faced Paul. Then he was with the deputy of the country, Sergus Paulus. Sergus Paulus wanted to listen to the gospel. But this, that Jesus was just disturbing him and hindering him from listening to the word of God. He was very close to the deputy of the country. He was a demonic advisor. A demonic advisor. Much so like our country, Nigeria. A lot of demonic advisors giving demonic advices to government and to government people. Confusing their lives. Corrupting their decisions. Terrible situations. There was a leader in this country who gathered blind rats to use as sor- sorcery against Nigerians. And when he was around, he was just doing anything he wanted to do. Nobody could stop him. Until there was a double power machine jams and he went. Nobody could have stopped him. He had already used his sorcery to control everybody. I've been to somewhere before, and this person wrote me a letter. The person was in government. He said, if you love your country, you have to come to this place. And I went to this top person, the governor. And when I got there, I met a man there who was wearing a green dress. And was saying that he has power. That he has traveled around all the states of Nigeria. He has picked sand from the capital. And he has charmed the sand that the people should just do what they want. Nobody will complain. Nobody used to challenge him. For the first time, I challenged him in the presence of the person who invited me. 
I said, this man is a child of the devil. And if you keep listening to these people, this kind of people, it is not a surprise that you are confused. So I told the man what he was. That you are a child of the devil. And you are a Confucianist. You are operating with the power of the earth. But you have forgotten. It's a power above. That can overrule all these things you are doing. Uh, I, he said, uh, excuse me, tell this man to stop talking to me. Because as he's talking, I'm feeling uncomfortable. I don't want him to continue talking. So I kept quiet. But he was not able to talk in that place again. Much so like that. I'm praying for somebody else. All demonic advisors that are advising your enemies, all the demonic consultants that the Kobos are consulting against your life, they shall be buried tonight. In the name of Jesus, let your amen be loud. Let your amen be loud. I pray that the Lord will open our eyes and will stop reading our Bibles upside down. There was a woman. She worked in the bank. She arrived in a place of work that morning. As she sat down, something said to her, said, Madam, look under your seat. Look under your seat. Look under your seat. So she looked under her seat. What did she find there? She find this Islamic phylactery. They salutate it. They salutate it under her seat. Ha! Huh? She said, yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? So she stood up, carried the chair, and was slamming it on the ground. Bah, bah, bah. So that the thing can drop. After something, the thing drop. And she ordered her messenger to take it away. And she said, nonsense. Nonsense. And she continued to walk. Two hours after that time, police just came into the bank. They arrested people. They showed her a check. This check passed through you, madam? So yes. So well, it's a fake check. Millions of money has gone. It's passed through your table. Say, but I didn't sign it. I just pass it on. Say, the deeds pass through your table. Say, yes. They are under arrest. They took her away. As they were taken away, she was crying. That nobody in my family has ever entered police cell. What kind of trouble is this? Uh, what kind of trouble is this? Uh, uh, maybe it's that thing they put under my seat. They locked that up that night. They released them in the morning. Quickly, somebody brought her to me. And she told me the stories. And I said, okay. Take this prayer. Go and pray it. The prayer is releasing confusion into the camp of the enemy. So she took the prayer. She got home. She read it. And she refused to pray. Next day, police was back again. Madam, have you seen the second check too? Say yes. Just pass through my table. I'm not a fraud. They took her up again. Second night, she slept there. Third day, she came to, my, to our house. She said, they came back, sir. I said, did you pray those prayers? I said, sir, when I go to home, when I look at the prayer, no, oh, no, no. These prayers are too wicked. Too wicked. Ah, too wicked. Can I be praying like this? Sir, these are wicked prayers. Jesus said, pray for your enemies. Prayer is this. I was too wicked. Said, because the Bible says, Love your neighbors as yourself. So, what kind of wicked prizes? And I said, okay. Take your Bible. She took her Bible. I said, open to First Corinthians 13. She opened to it. She said, though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have no charity. I'm a tinkling symbol. Though I have all knowledge and I can prophesy. I have no love, no charity. Say, I'm nothing. Charity suffered long. Endure it all things. She read that powerful chapter on love. And I said, Madam, who wrote First Corinthians 13? Said Apostle Paul. Very good. Now take the same Bible. Go to Acts of Apostles chapter 13. So she opened Acts of Apostles chapter 13. She read this passage we just read. I said, who said, Thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not speak to perform the righteous will of the Lord? I said, Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind for a season. And the Bible said, Immediately, mist and darkness fell upon him. And they went about seeking somebody to lead him by the hand. I said, Who prayed blindness into that man's life? He said, Paul. Who wrote the love chapter? He said, Paul. Who released blindness on people? He said, Paul. 
I said, Madam, is that love? I said, no. So you see, you are reading your Bible upside down. Reading it upside down. When she saw that one, she said, excuse me, sir. This is a revelation. This is a revelation. And I said, look, the enemy Jesus said you should pray for are those who do not know what they are doing. Jesus himself prayed for such enemies on the cross. Said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they are doing. For somebody who is in full knowledge what he wants to do, he wants to destroy you, wants to get rid of you, he wants to terminate your destiny, and then you say, for I love you with the love of the Lord, the ball is in your court. She said, thank you, sir. She said, thank you, sir. When she got up, she took the prayer. Her father said she prayed for six hours until she was sweating. When she got to the place of work next day, the person who allowed them to steal the money was arrested. And the person who put something under her table, she discovered it. After that prayer. Paul saw this man. Paul did not pat him at the back and try to convert him. He did not begin to sing praise worship. There is a space for praise worship. There is a space for action. He did not turn the other cheek. Just quickly located and identified the enemy. He didn't stand up like our ice cream evangelist in many years ago. Or our ice cream, ice cream prayer warriors many years ago. Or our Greek prayer warriors. Satan, I don't want you now. I go show you per per in Jesus' name. I go show you shake. I don't want you now. I go. The Bible did not say you should warn Satan. The Bible says you should go and fight. You are saying I don't want you now. The Bible said the deputy when he saw that one was astonished, was amazed, was stunned, shocked, and confounded. And the Bible says the man was astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. So to make an enemy blind was a doctrine of the Lord. It is time for us to look at the children of the devil in the eye. So die, child of the devil. Your time is up. You cannot continue what you are doing and stop them in their tracks. That prayer point was, thou shalt be blind. And he did that to them. Did that to that man because he was a child of the devil. If you are a Bible reader, until you get to where Paul was addressing the man, you will be confused about this kind of man. A certain sorcerer. A prophet. Uh-uh. By Jesus. Also a limas. To add more to the confusion. A government advisor. Until Paul began to address him. It was when Paul began to speak, we now understood what was happening. He said, oh, full of all subtlety. He was subtle. A subtle enemy. When you say somebody is subtle, it means he's very clever, very cunning, very subtle. That's what the serpent did to Eve. The Bible said the serpent was more subtle than all the other creatures. When we say subtle, it means the thing is difficult to detect or analyze. It will be difficult to perceive or understand. It's very crafty. Very shrewd. A schemer. That's what we call being subtle. Very cunning, very clever. That's this fellow that Paul had to confront. It is time for us to arise and begin to call things their names. Call them what they mean. It is time we begin to demonstrate the power of God the way it should be demonstrated. It is time for us to begin to frustrate the plan of the enemy. I used to have a troublesome friend in those days. Very, very troublesome friend. He understood his authority. Actually, what God is looking for now in the house of God is looking for troublemakers. Those who go and cause trouble in the camp of the enemy. Pastors who will turn the environment upside down. That's what God is looking for now. My friend was a serious troublemaker. Ah! A rascal for Jesus. My friend, who entered bus one day, and he had his bag under his arm, and he began to preach from Oyibo bus stop. Say, I greet you good morning this bus. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. You may be surprised to find me standing here. It's not because I want to stand here. It's because something is pushing me. 
And what is pushing me is this thing that I have under me here. Under me here, there is a powerful juju, a strong medicine. It can cure poverty. It can cure madness. It can cure malaria. It can cure lack of knowledge. Under me here, this juju here is so powerful that even native doctors are afraid of it. How many of you want to see this thing? That is under my feet. He said, yes. He began to praise what he had under him. He was praising it. Those who should get down at bus stops, they didn't get down. Because they, they wanted to see what, what, what kind of juju this man is talking about like this. He was praising it. When he was now about to get to his own bus stop, I will now come down. He said, now, let me show you the juju. Put his hand in his bag. But that is Bible. They said, Ulush. Weary. That's my friend. In those days, if they were performing magic in the marketplace, they would stay there. When they begin to say, blah, 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 this and that and that and that. After they have issued their incarnation, they would say, I trample upon it in Jesus' name, it will not work. Not loudly. So they don't, the magicians will be sweating. Those things are not working. He will ask the snake to come out of the box. The snake will not come out. The magicians themselves, being children of the devil, when they see that their incarnation is not working, they now begin to look at the spectators. Huh? Why yet, baby? Look at her. Unfortunately, they have a wrong notion that is grey headed people who have power. So they point at old men who are there, say, Baba, go away. Go, go, go. As the, the person causing the trouble is about 23, 24 years old, and they could not locate him. I'm praying for somebody here. The power that will make your enemies to flee. The power that will make your enemies to run. The power that will put your fear, your fear, upon your enemies. Receive it now. Receive it. 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 Let your enemies roll like thunder. There are five situations when it is wrong for believers to be silent. Five situations when it is wrong for a believer to be silent. Paul did not remain silent here. Neither did he pamper the enemy. The first situation is when a lot of things depend on our words. That's the first situation. A lot depends on your words. It's dangerous to keep quiet. As written in Esther chapter 4. Esther chapter 4. Verse 14. Esther 414. Esther 414. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. For thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who know it? Whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. A believer should not keep quiet when so much depends on your words. Second situation where we must not be silent is when God should be praised. When God should be praised. In Psalm 30, verse 11 to 12. Psalm 30, 11 to 12. When God should be praised. Psalm 30, 11. Thou hast turned for me my money into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. You shouldn't keep quiet when God is to be praised. You shouldn't keep quiet. It is sad that sometimes to pray in public becomes very embarrassing for some Christians. I find it very embarrassing. We pray in public. Very embarrassing. One day in England, I was passing across the street, and a man rushed to me that, Dr. Luca, Dr. Luca, I just got a phone call. My wife is in labor now. 
please, sir, kindly pray, kindly pray, 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 pray. So I said, stand there. We stood on the street there. I held this hand. I was calling the prayers. Both of us were praying. We were praying. As we kept praying, we just noticed that we were being surrounded. Surrounded by people. And they said, well, what are you guys doing? So we are praying. And I said, I pray. This is, this is hypocrisy. You pray in public. And you just, uh, Jesus said, you do it. make it a quiet affair. And then I faced him. I said, there you are. Anywhere the Muslims find themselves. Airport, government house, anywhere. Inside the plane. Inside the plane. Praying by your damn hand. But it's you, believers, who are embarrassed. He was honest. He said, you, you made a point there. You made a point there. Sometimes when we should talk and praise God, we are too embarrassed to talk. They will call me fanatics here. They will call me all kinds of names here. And you keep quiet. You will be held responsible. The third situation where believers should not keep quiet is when prayer is urgently required. In Isaiah chapter 62, Isaiah 62, verse 6. Isaiah 62, verse 6. Isaiah 62, verse 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest, till he establish Jerusalem, till he make Jerusalem a place in the earth. When prayer is urgently required, it is dangerous to keep quiet. Four, when there is good news to tell, it is dangerous to keep quiet. Believers should not keep quiet when there is good news to spread. In Second Kings chapter seven verse nine, Second Kings seven nine. Look at what this man said. Second Kings chapter seven verse nine. Then said they one to another, We do not well. This day is a day of good tidings, and we hold our peace. If we tarry to the morning light, some mischief will come on us. Now therefore come, we may go and tell the king's household. Those four lepers say, We do not well. We should not keep quiet. And finally, the fifth time when a believer is wrong to be silent, is when iniquity is on the throne. Iniquity is exalted. Iniquity is on the throne. Isaiah 58 verse 1. Isaiah 58 verse 1. When iniquity is on the throne. Isaiah 58 1. It's a cry aloud. Spear not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So it was wrong for Paul to keep silent when this situation is like this. It was wrong for him to keep quiet. So he did not keep quiet. Just identify the enemy, call the enemy the correct name, and dead with the enemy. Thou child of the devil. Thou enemies of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the righteous way of the Lord? Say, Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind for a season. The Bible says, immediately, mist and darkness fell upon him. And he went about, seeking him to lead him by the hand. Can you raise up your voice loud and clear? Thou child of the devil! Assign against my destiny. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. We are poorly cast on fire. Bakatenda Raboshente Rabasanta. In Jesus' name we pray. When the Bible says, 
drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh. He's talking about the children of the devil. Drinkers of blood, eaters of flesh. He's talking about the child of the devil. Don't waste your time trying to settle quarrel with a drinker of blood and eater of flesh. They don't settle quarrel. The only language they understand is the violence Paul displayed here. You will see that when the eye of that man will eventually open, he will run back to Jesus. Because he had seen a greater power. And as a matter of rule, when a greater power comes across a lesser power, the lesser power must bow. I was invited to a house many, many years back. Everybody in the house was sick. Daddy was sick. Mommy was sick. Five children were sick. I was sick. Only one of the children was not sick. She cooks for everybody. She put the tablets in their hand and give them water to swallow it. When we got there, Father could hardly talk for us to hear. Mother was lying on the floor. Father was on the bed. The other children could not go to school. This is the only healthy child looking after them and cooking. So I said, let us pray. I closed my eyes and I began to pray. And as I began to pray, I had the voice, son, you are facing an eater of flesh and drinker of blood. And our amen was serious. Because all of us were sick. Our amen was stronger than the two people who came with me. Amen! Amen, Jesus! And yet, since you are facing a drinker of blood and eater of flesh. And I stopped praying. And I set my eyes on her like Paul did. I said, look here. Why are you drinking their blood? She said, sorry sir. Sorry sir. The, the, the rest is inside the pot. I said, pot? Bring the pot. She went. Brought this old fashioned pot. Small one. It was filled with dark liquid. I said, what is this? It's their blood. It's their blood. You are drinking the blood of your parents and the other children. So I was under instruction, sir. I was under instruction. I said, but it's so small, but there, 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 there is plenty of blood. I said, yes, sir, we have a way of uh, condensing the blood. I said, that blood you see there can be blood of 20 people, this small one. We now destroy the pot and we started praying again. The whole family got on their feet. The child of the devil. Say, Thou child of the devil. I stand to frustrate my destiny. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Jesus, name we pray. When the Bible talks about strange children, plenty of them in many families, they are children of the devil. When the Bible talks about satanic spies, they come, spy what you are doing, report you back to the demonic kingdom, and say, have you seen so, 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 so recently? Say yes. She's pregnant now. Pregnant? That's not possible. Okay. Thank you for telling us. And they launch the attack against the person at night. They pass information about you to the enemies. Diviners. They are children of the devil. They divine evil. They cause trouble. They pollute and they corrupt. Like Elimas. Fake ministers. They are children of the devil. This is a very serious matter. And we have plenty of them. Plenty of them. All over the place. There is a pastor in jail now. One day I was in my office. He sent three of his pastors to come and see me. That's before he was jailed. So these three pastors came. I found them very interesting. All of them have scraped away their hair and they have long goatish beard. Three of them. They say we are from Reverend So and so. Say, are you Dr. Luca? I say yes. He sent us to you. So, okay, what can I do to help? Say, our most right reverend said we should tell you that beginning from now, don't pray for anybody with HIV again. 
if anybody comes to you with HIV, our light reverend say we should tell you that is the only one with the anointing to heal them. Send them to our reverend. Thank you, sir. And they stood up. They said they were going. I said, ah, is that what brought you here? They said, yes. Can I ask you a question? I said, yes. So why is it that you have removed your hair? You have removed your hair. You have removed your hair. And why is it that you all have goatish beards? They look at me. You know what they said? They said, outside the syllabus. What you are saying is outside our syllabus. Bye bye. And they went. The like children of the devil. One came here the other time too. God sent me here from the mountain to come and speak the word to the man of God here. And I am the Holy Spirit. I want to talk to the man of God. You are the Holy Spirit. It's okay. And I sent one of the pastors who work with me here to go there. So yes, you want to talk to Dr. Lukoya? Speak. So yes, Dr. Lukoya, thank you for coming out. Hear the word of the Lord. The pastor says, sorry, 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 sorry. I am, I am not Dr. Lukoya. So you are not the Holy Spirit. If you are the Holy Spirit, you will know that I am the wrong person. Sir, children of the devil. And what a tragedy. When you put your head down, the symbol of your destiny, and they lay the hands on you, and they claim to be praying, not knowing that your glory had been withdrawn. I'm praying for anyone here whose glory has been withdrawn like that, that you must recover it. Recover it. Recover it. Recover it. In the name of Jesus. Occultic practitioners, they are children of the devil. Evil broadcasters, they are children of the devil. Spam hunters, plenty of them around now. And many of the young men you see, they will need special prayer before they make progress. Because I've been sleeping around that. Did you know that spam hunters have been collecting their spam? There is even a place in this Lagos where native doctors go to collect spams for use. Plenty of those spam hunters in this university here collecting spams from students. I feel sorry for most of those boys. Satanic sexual partners. They are children of the devil. Satanic consultants and contractors. They are children of the devil. Satanic musicians singing songs that make people to go deeper and deeper into sin. They are children of the devil. Manipulators. Manipulating people and turning them upside down. These are children of the devil. No wonder. Paul did not take it easy with that fellow. He looked at him straight in the eye. Identified him and knew that, no, this is a child of the devil. And we need to deal with this one thoroughly. And he dealt with them thoroughly. Do you know, as we are now, there are human beings who gather dolls together. They use the dolls in witchcraft to cause terrible diseases and sudden death. You see them putting needles on the dolls. When they stick the nail into the heart, it's to kill the person. When they stick the nail into the head, it's to make the person mad. When they stick the nail into the leg, the person will be paralyzed. When they stick into the eyes, the person gets blind. If you are here this evening, and you find out some time ago they cut a piece of your cloth and you didn't find it. That is why they were attached to the body of the doll to represent the person. And some of the wicked ones, they even put a basket or a heavy load on the head of that doll. If you see people complaining, I'm feeling heavy, my head is feeling heavy, this and that and that and that. And the person will know what's going on. Something stolen from the person is attached to the doll. It could be air, it could be menstrual pad, it could be sand from your feet, it could even be your urine. When a person is being wickedly harassed like this, no medicine can help the person unless you do it the right way, the way Paul did it. And once the person begins to pray, you begin to dream of wooden idols in your dream. You need to pray. Sometimes they pour foul smelling liquid on that door. So the person will be attracting unnecessary hatred. People don't want to see the person around. 
person will be having all kinds of bad luck. This doll is a common weapon of strange women. That's why you will find a man who will abandon the woman he married as a virgin and who has up to seven children and go to one woman who has married three husbands with different, different children. And all the children don't resemble anybody. It's the mystery of the dolls. Sometimes dolls have been brought out of the bed of strange women. I was a sister who prayed some dangerous prayers about ten years ago. The strange woman died on her bed. And police arrested her husband because her husband was on that bed with his dead woman. When they said her husband has been arrested and she rushed there. While they were searching the place. They brought out a doll. The doll wore a black dress. Which the woman knew that is cut, it was cut from a material thrown for her husband by her. All the doll practitioners, they are the children of the devil. Can you shout this loud? Every killer doll assigned against me. Can your voice be louder than that? Is that the loudest you can say? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray. There are people, we call them evil tailors. We see them in the day like this. They look normal like everybody. But immediately it's 12 midnight. They put on their black robes. Which is an instrument of witchcraft. And they begin to pursue people all over the place. When all colors are mixed together, they become black. Black robes will blend with darkness. These evil tellers, they sew garment of darkness and wear it on people. I'm praying for somebody here. That those powers that have sewn dark robes for you. That have constructed satanic robes for you. The judgment of fire shall capture them. In the name of Jesus. There are human beings who have evil brooms sweeping away good things. Occultic brooms for sweeping away good things from the life of people. They sweep marriage away. They sweep children away. They sweep money away. The person will just experience unexplainable financial losses. This is the work of this sometimes terrible broom. And when you enter some houses, when you look up, find them hanging a broom there with red thread. If that is where you are discussing your business proposal, the business is finished before you start. I pray that the broom of darkness are stand against somebody that will catch fire. There are those who use evil pots or what the Bible calls cauldron. Cauldron. This cauldron is a powerful instrument of witchcraft. Many witchcraft people and witch doctors have that pot and they use it. In cauldrons, people's lives are cooked like meat in a pot. They pollute people's lives. No wonder Ezekiel prayed. This city shall not be my cauldron. In Micah 3.3. Micah 3.3. Book of Micah 3.3. Micah 3.3. Who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them and they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the cauldron. There are people beside cauldron, day and night, cooking people, cooking destinies. You see some people complaining that they're feeling hot. And you don't know why they're feeling hot. Some will go to the hospital. They will do all the medical checkups. 
no malaria, no typhoid fever, yet the body is on fire. They are cooking. They are cooking. cooking the person. Cooking the person. There are wicked human beings who have altars inside them. They have swallowed their altars. Others have their altars outside. They swallow their own. And they'll be consulting it and be doing evil. These are children of the devil. Just as servants of God are delegated to bless people, children of the devil use satanic power to curse people and to control and to harm people, to issue curses against people's lives. That's why the book of Psalm is a handbook of warfare, is full of powerful pronouncements against the enemies of God. The psalmist is calling down the anger of God upon spiritual forces. Today, I want you to understand that until we begin to act and begin to pray some prayers that scares the enemy, certain children of Satan remain unmoved in place. They remain in place. The children of the devil understand when there is a power greater than their own power. Even among themselves, authority is respected. If somebody goes to a junior native doctor, if another person goes to a higher native doctor, the one who goes to the higher native doctor becomes the strongest. So read your Bible well, beloved. The Bible says we should love all human beings. And that's the love of Christ that he has for us. But that love is for those who are just normal human beings like us. But those who know the evil they are doing. And they are planning their evil. And they, are, they have designed it. And they want to carry it out. The message of love your enemies as yourself is not the same thing. It's not the same thing at all. Because you will be destroyed. If you don't stop them, they stop you. It's as simple as that one. I remember the story of that woman. She had won a giant contract. And she was enjoying herself. That day, it was eating at home. Pandadiam and vegetable soup. As she took the first bowl of pandadiam, I wanted to put it on the vegetable soup. All of a sudden, a frog appeared on the top of the pandadiam. Frog. Frog. What she did, she took the plate of a goose soup and used it to cover the pandadiam and then pressed it tight in order to squash the frog. She pressed it until the pandadiam was coming out of the plate. Uh huh. Wherever you come from, you will see yourself now. But by the time she opened the plate, hoping to see a dead frog, nothing. No frog again. Immediately that happened. The hand she was using to press the thing became paralyzed. And she fell down. And that's how the problem started. Until she came across Jesus. She prayed back to the sender. And as her hand came back to normal, one of her relatives was knocking the door. I said, we hear that you are sick. You just came to check you up. She had been sick for three years. Nobody came to check her up. Now the day she got healed, somebody now turned up. Of course, she said, I know who you are. Your frog has come back to you. That's why you are here. And this person could not talk. He got back home, then got paralyzed. That's why you need to pray today. That the child of the devil in your business, the child of the devil surrounding you, the child of the devil prevent you from entering to your promised land. The child of the devil that is opposing your breakthrough, you have to now deal with them. But to do that, you need to become a friend of God and you need to pray the way Paul prayed. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. Rise up on your feet, all eyes closed. Thank you, Jesus. But well, you see, if you are here tonight, and you are not born again. You have not just rendered your life to Jesus. Do so very, very quickly now. Very, very quickly now. Jesus is here and is able to do all things. Do so by raising up your right hand and say what I'm going to say after. Say, so Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. Jesus' name. Amen. The prayers I want you to pray tonight will break the yoke of 
buried virtues. It will break the yoke of academic burial. It will break the yoke of joblessness. It will break the yoke of dreamlessness. It will break the yoke of secular problems. It will break the yoke of stubborn sicknesses. It will break the yoke of evil conspiracy. It will break the yoke of depths. This prayers that I want you to pray. This is not a time to negotiate. This is not the time to negotiate. It's time to strike out with fire and with power. Strike out with fire and with fire. You will sing this song. You sing it with fire and with power. With fire and with power. We have only a few minutes to sing this song. And when I say sing, sing from your heart. Don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. Jesus is here. His power is in this place. Sing with fire and with power. Strong man, submit your power. Submit your power. Strong man, submit your power. 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 In the name of Jesus. Children of the devil. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. In 
Jesus let me pray. Say, thou child of the devil, blocking my testimony, scatter in the name of Jesus. Something is happening here tonight. Jesus may we pray. Say, thou child of the devil, circulating my name for evil. You are a liar. Cast fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus, may we pray.